bookish friends welcome back to amanda's bookish adventures and it is part two of reading 31 books in 31 days now when i did end last week's vlog or part one of this this three part series i'm assuming i had read i read 10 books now i did film this opening already and i accidentally deleted it yay so i did read more to that monster series last night so i read it wedded to the minotaur and it is about barcus he left his home i didn't know i just assumed these were monster species from like other realms that crashed in no they're aliens in this one and i think the rest of the series will go with the alien thing so what i didn't also know i thought i was reading from the same author but it's like many different authors for this series and they're really short and it did give me a chance to read authors I've never the first one gave me an author I've never read from and I never read from Eden Ember as well so I read Wedded to the Minotaur so Varkis left his home planet due to the, there not being enough women and it, it was only like 97 pages so I'm not gonna say all of it and Arin was the three oldest girls like most humans on earth now they struggle to maintain the ability to feed themselves the most basic food so Arin gets the letter she goes to the temple her other sisters also signed up through the marriage temple to get better matches so they can have a better life so I gave this one a three star because it's short I won't go over but I just, I was like, why is this so different? It's not even like the spicy scenes or like, it was just, it was different. And then I looked, it's by a different author. They do have different authors through the rest of the series. I I want to finish the series. I think it would help this project really well. But yeah, I was like, it's so different. I'm hoping because the next one, just, yeah, because it's called The Arranged Monster Mates because I'm reading this off my Kindle. So the next one is Wedded to the Wolf Man, and it's by Cara Wild. I've never heard of her. And this one is, oh, it won't let me see how many pages it is off uh, my Kindle. But it is, so it's different. Um, I will tell you how many pages. So it says, I'm gonna read a little bit. Even surrounded by devotion of wolves, I feel alone, forsaken. The legends of my clan say that the Alpha has forsaken. The legends of my clan say the Alpha without a mate will wither in time and weakness will inflict him until a stronger wolf will challenge him and dethrone him. I can't let that happen. I have searched for my mate far and wide. When, when I couldn't find her among my species, I turned to the wall cities of the humans. They are filled with fair, fertile females. No, none of them smells or feels like my mate. This one, the lo there is one last thing I can try. The temple can draw a simple blood, draw some, a, a simple drop of blood and match me to my mate. I don't believe it until I see her. So I'm just tipping over a bag. Probably the bag I just put my pair of new jeans in. The temple, a matchmaking service for moms. Oh, until I see her, she's beautiful. She's fierce. She's untainable. And her scent tells me she, all I need to know, she is mine. The temple, a matchmaking service for monsters, shifters, and aliens. So it is kind of like there's some aliens, monsters, now shifters, is open for service. Arranged Monster Mates is a series of novellas written by your favorite paranormal, sci-fi, favorite paranormal and sci-fi romance authors. So far it says... Eden Ember, which was wedded to the Minotaur, Layla Faye, which was wedded to the Ice Giant, and Kara Wild. So I've read the first one with that one, and the second one was Eden. I only gave Wedded to the Minotaur three stars, so I'm hoping to give this one four. Hoping I'm gonna like it. Now, for the manga series I'm planning to read with this part, I have five volumes of this. So we are gonna be reading Villains Are Destined to Die. Playing the daughter of a Duke super love project as the easy mode. Heron Avana makes the charming male characters a breeze, but once you switch to hard mode and step into the shoes of Penelope, the misunderstood villain, it's nearly impossible to even stay alive. So imagine the shock of suddenly waking up in Penelope's body knowing body, you know, right away that in your life is on the line. 
with love interest who will kill you if their affliction meters drop too low and the inability to speak without choosing from pre-selected dialogue it quickly becomes clear that Penelope, Penelope's chances have been rigged from the start and the villain might just be destined to die so I do I have I think I read like 10 chapters of this off. I think it was webtoons I read this one off of I did like it so basically she died and she gets reincarnated into her favorite At Atomi game as the villainess she gets adopted Penelope gets adopted basically to take the position of the daughter that died so she has her adopted father hates her her adopted brothers want nothing to do with her and her adopted brothers are like love interests the prince is a love interest there's another I don't know all of them because I didn't get very far but she like she knows like all the hidden roots to die but it gets harder by time because like she can't basically can't really say anything like that she wants to say most of the dialogue like if it's a route to the game or like a choice she has to say what's the option is available for her so that is the manga series i will be reading the five volumes in this part i still didn't finish yearning for her and i also didn't finish psycho shifters but i did forget to mention wedded to the ice challenge what it's the ice giant counts for w for the a to c reading challenge so i got w and i i'm more worried that i'm not gonna find anything for z or x because like most of them i think so i might have to look in my spicy groups and like see if there's anything if not i might just have to count okay. and let's talk about what happened so I was refilming. Uh, sorry, my brain. I was refilming the vlog clip I deleted. So I was opening up this part for part two for this vlog, and I'm talking about this and the other books I was currently reading. I was home alone, and I did not lock the front door. So Miss Chloe, let me see, Mrs. Chloe, not a very good angle. And little Lou, you're gonna see my soft. Yeah, the little loop. So the door was open in my room. They just bolt as I left the front door open and my dad came home and I didn't know he came home. I was terrified at that moment. And I, I, I at least know Chloe will knock down the intruder if there was an intruder. Louie would just go bark at him. So it gave me a minute to go see what was going on. And then I heard my dad's voice. Me dropping my phone was because I was shook that someone was in the house. That's why I was like, I have to go. Right after that, I get an alert off my phone. We're going to have a major bad snowstorm. So I start prepping the driveway and the sidewalk with salt. I kept going out there, sweeping it off, making sure we could... Sorry, he wants under the blanket. Making sure we could get out of the, ho uh, the driveway so we didn't slide out of our driveway. So I did that. And it's snowing again on Wednesday. So yay. And I'm in the living room waiting on very important packages I have to sign for, so I'm with the dogs. Sorry, Louie has to be under the blanket. I need to get his coat back on. I just took it off because it got really warm. So I have read a little bit today, even though I've been preparing for more snow. And it's snowing lately, so it's not as bad as last night. I did finish The Villains Are Destined to Die in the End. And I gave it a five star. Okay, I remember liking it but I, this consumed me when i read it. It, it it's so good i'm gonna get the second one so basically penelope she's the girl who got reincarnated i don't even say i think it says her name she basically talks about her life and everything and then she gets reincarnated getting away from her family and then she gets reincarnated playing this game so she's been in such a uh, similar situations of Penelope since her childhood. Penelope was adopted because she looked similar to the Duke's daughter that was lost. Well, because she was reincarnated as the villainess, she's reincarnated in hard mode right before the normal mode or the story begins of where the Duke's daughter comes back. So she basically, if she has any negative points, like it said in the back, she hits a death flag and dies so she's like oh i could just hit one death flag we're assuming the game will reset or she'll get be sent back to her world there is no reset she pretty much needs to improve her 
adaptation with the people in the house with these adopted brothers who have and the staff that has neglected her her whole life so she's at least not to have to be in the negative with them she's got to find at least a love interest before the dupe's daughter comes back with a hundred affection points so she is doing good she's kind of checked select one route that she's gonna try to go for like i said in volume two because i is where i ended with reading because i was just tired of going like this i get i'm not bored i enjoyed the story but i was so i got so consumed with these last year that i wasn't another part part of the reason why i wasn't reading them last year but then i was i think it was in 2021 no, 2022 is when I did get consumed, but I still had a good reading year. But I, and then I found it was going to be Prince, so I was like, yeah, I'll just buy the volumes. I did not pre-order volume six, even though volume five is coming tonight, but I had to rebuy that basically because I'm still waiting because it got shipped and I got charged from Walmart and it still says delayed and they've been trying to cancel it. So I might just call like a representative and see if they'll just cancel it for me because there's not even like delayed to how many days it's just I pre-ordered it in November off Walmart because it was cheaper so I had to buy it again on Amazon even though I'm on a book buying bound I'm not gonna hurt myself so bad I did have to buy that stuff and I needed free shipping because I don't have prime which I'm planning because of I did some pre-orders I really need to get prime for my pre-orders like it was I basically pre-ordered with tax not just tax, I mean shipping fees, which wouldn't happen if I did have Prime. I had Prime last year, and then I cut that to cut my expenses. I need to get Prime again. Just make, like, one big payment, and I should be okay. I'm hoping to do it with my taxes next month, maybe, if I get them. Fingers crossed. No, I'll do it in March. This is so good. Like, I, I have more like this. They might all be five stars, but I do, I did read some... The Abandoned Empress, and then Who Made Me a Princess. I've read them almost all the way to the finish point, and I will never read them again. I guess I could count them on Goodreads goals or whatever. The Abandoned Empress made me so freaking annoyed. I hated that one. So I'm just going to go with the ones that I'm really interested in and just read them this way. But I got to keep my eye on it because I just found out, like, ones that I absolutely love, like The Remary Empress, has a couple prints out, so... I may have put those in the cart and pre-ordered a couple of those as well. So there goes the book by and that. But I don't get charged as how they come out. And I kind of spaced out the pre-orders and which ones were really important to get. So I'm doing okay. Now, I just finished that probably half an hour ago. And I've read a little bit of Yearning for Her. I read this in a day. Like that chunk. So I'm hoping to get this done tonight. I am doing some reading sprints after I've had done like a lot of chores but I'm gonna have to do some more chores because this house is a mess and hopefully I can get this finished tonight so I can read the remarried empress volume two and I would also like to read I wedded wedded to the wolf man I think that's only 80 pages so I think I could read all of that tonight tomorrow is my last day off so I do want to concentrate on getting a lot read and honestly I'll just be happy if I can get this off checked off because if this is checked off I also have my lovely Kindle by me so I can probably read the so I can get back into Psycho, Psycho Shifters because I'd like to get back into that one as well and finish them for this month they're perfect for the A to Z challenge and I did find Z and X and I have a book for you so basically I'm doing it backwards I haven't done it kind of in order I've done like the end of the alphabet kind of doesn't matter. I found books that match for and I that I could read off Kindle Unlimited. So yes, I'm doing okay. I'm fine. That scare though and the storm that's supposed to continue until Friday, maybe even Sunday. And I work Friday and Sunday. So that's gonna suck. Because I sometimes part of my job I have to go outside the store. And I almost slid the last snowstorm. I was sliding and I was scared, but I have to go up and do it. But each to their own. So that is this update. 
I honestly don't know if I'll talk to you guys tonight. Maybe I'll do another update and just talk about, like, if I finish this. Hi, so it is Thursday night, and I finally finished Year of the Fur. I don't have much thoughts because I have to go to bed. But I remember telling part one why I put this book down because there was a scene that made me really mad with the character and I put this book down and then just didn't pick it back up but I really wanted to finish it so when I it was getting close to the ending and like we probably only had like 30 pages that's like right when I ended the last the, that chapter I was like they never wrap that up so it like made this really quick deal of wrapping that up and then ending the book so I don't know how I feel about that because like I called that plot point and then I was like they're gonna have to wrap this up like right here so that kind of bugged me but it overall it was a good book and I did have enjoyment so it is a four star I think I will talk more about it tomorrow if I didn't have to go to bed like right now I stayed up like extra 40 minutes just to get that chunk done and that's because I was lagging on sleep and I really needed to read and I was trying not to fall asleep the whole time I was reading that so yes so four star and that also makes the 13th book I've read but I'm gonna focus I don't know I do go back to work tomorrow like I've said I probably will read Wedded to the Wolfman because it's 79 pages and I have if I get a decent lunch break I can finish that really quickly but I have two breaks that I can start that off with so that that's pretty good and I'm hoping to read Villainous is Destined to Die volume two I don't know why I want to call it the remarried empress I watched that last clip saw that and I was like come on but I just can't get over the remarried empress but I'm excited to dive back into villain villain is destined to die tomorrow I am tired so four stars are at the 13th book in this series and I'm hoping because I feel like I'm dragging like when I first started this I was really more gung-ho and I had three days off and I didn't do a lot of a lot of reading that I was planning on doing so hopefully I don't know I'm off Saturday but I am going to get my nails fixed which I'm really excited about getting this fixed so we'll see but I don't know I think reading those mangas might be more helpful and then trying to read. My biggest fear was that all I would get read is those mangas. I did get a couple small books in, but I was hoping to get like Anastasia by Sophie, Sophie Lark in, and I don't know with the way it's going if I could. I might be able to if I do it like if I read a hundred pages here and then like read some manga and make that like a big priority focus, like that be my main book and read manga with it. I don't know we'll see so that is thursday night and my remote just dropped so i will talk to you tomorrow when i'm not really tired it is saturday night i did not end up reading anything on friday i was just i was drained i really was and it's not i worked a full shift which was really good i really needed it and it was the end of my pay period. So it makes me feel a little bit better now that I'm going to have money coming back in and not going out. I do have to get stuff for lunch and stuff in my bills. But just to have more in my bank account than I have right now will give me some peace of mind. Now, I want to talk about Yearning for Her. I did read today, but I want to talk about Yearning for Her. So I didn't tell you what this is about. I did in part one if you watched part one. But it is about Willow. She is a food art photographer and she goes to this really nice restaurant with her boyfriend to basically find out he's cheating on her well she meet kyan at the door he's an incubus and they had an instant connection she's in pain they have a wild passion night she just assumed it was a one night stand he basically knew she was his mate and he had to find her and he when he finds her she's not understanding he has to prove to her what love is because she's been so hurt so many times by men that he has to prove that. Like, he has to show her he's there, he's w willing to have a committed relationship. She 
dips her toe in, finds out what he is. And it's an overall, it's a very good experience. And I did enjoy this. I have, if you, I'll link part one in the, in the description so you can find me talking about this. I did talk about that there was a part in the middle, what made me stop the book. I got my nails done. I forgot to show you. They're beautiful. I'm going to show you the thumbnail and then the rest of them. I love them. And I booked my next two nail appointments. I'm happy. <laughs> it, she books up really quickly. And they went with my twin. So on the drive there, I read two books and then got halfway through this one. And then I came home and read, finished the rest of it. So overall, I loved it. I love the experience, but I did get mad about the part in the middle. And then they wrapped it up really quickly at the end. Overall, for this being my first Tiffany Roberts book, and I was like debating if I had unhaul it. I don't think I would. I think I, I'm going to reread it in a year. And in two years, if I don't have enough space, then I'll unhaul it. But for now, it's going to stay on the shelf. I'm not going to get rid of every single book. I just got to have a better storage system. I will figure that out eventually in my life. My, I'm in a, the smallest room in this house. And I'm... The struggle is weird real when you buy it. I, I'm not a book lover at this point. I just saw this on like TikTok. I'm a book hoarder, like a book dragon. I hoard my books for years and I've done that since I was a child. I have gone better by doing every couple of years and unhaul things I've not touched or bought and never picked up, but I don't know if my hoarding will ever improve. Now, let's talk about this. The, the second volume to Remarried Empress. Or, I hate that. It's the villain. Villains, villains are destined to die. I am so stoked to actually have the physical copies and to continue on with the series. I got past, so the first part or like the first two chapters is where I ended on Webtoons. And then get to this point. She's calling these people out left and right. She's trying... She's remembering more of Penelope's memories that, like, it did show, but a little in the game, but not a lot on hard mode. I think you would have had to, she would have had to unlock them if she chose the correct answer and not died when she was playing the game. It was brilliant. She's calling them out. I liked meeting her final love interest. Honestly, at this point, I don't, I'm not rooting for anyone because normally I am in one of these. I'm rooting for for not to avoid the death flag and the way it's talking about the world that she didn't know as long as she can avoid the death flag which I think obviously she will I honestly I don't have a favorite I think because their affection points are so low there is one I generally that is a psycho that I wouldn't root for but I want Penelope to live and survive before the duke's daughter comes back the guys the love interest points have gone up so she has avoided some death flags, but there's not one I'm overly attached to of being like, oh yeah, yeah, that's like the love interest or like the main guy. No, I just, I'm rooting for the non-death flag at this option until I know more. Now, this is volume two. This is one of the adopted brothers and he gave the original Penelope, both of the family, adopted family, has given her hard but he started the behavior with something he's done as a that reflected that she got the memory for I think in volume one nothing I know it was like in volume one and it's talked a little more about this and it it's interesting because of one shift how this event happened it changed the course of Penelope's life to turn into the villainess basically so I'm ready for her to finally, like, call him out and see where we go. And I'm interested in, like, where the other love interest affection points were going. I'm so happy to have the volumes. And I did not pre-order volume six because I'm trying to be careful with my money, especially in February. But it does come out in February, and I do plan on getting it for my birthday. I am trying to be... I already hauled some more books. I know I showed you guys two in the first part, but I hauled three manga. I hauled the fifth one of this, but I bought the, it off Walmart and I've been trying to get 
help to because I delayed it. It charged me and it delayed and it's never come and it doesn't have a date of coming. So I don't know what I'm going to do. And honestly, at this point, I don't really care. Like if just I will figure it out eventually. I might just have to like call them to get it sorted. But I do. I did order that. I did order a fourth volume to another manga series I had. And I ordered one that I didn't know about. But it is, I think it's similar to the ones that I bought the physical copies of that intrigues me. I So this was a five star and I think the rest of the series might be. I'm invested. I'm not annoyed like I was with the Abandoned Empress and Who Made Me a Princess. I'm going to finish this series. Now I did read Heartstopper Volume 3 on my way to get my nails done. Gave that a five stars. Well, and overall, I'm doing good. I haven't had a chance to pick up Psycho Shifters again. I think I'm just gonna try to read as much as my physical TBR as, as I can, even if it's manga or small books. I have Friday and Thursday off of this week. I think if when I get to the 10, if I get to 10 books before that next Friday, I will end the vlog. And that will be part two because the next part will be me reading 11 books and then I've read hopefully 31 books in 31 days. Right now on that count I have read overall in this project I have read 14 books. Mm, some of it has been digital. We've had a good chunk of it being my physical TBR which I find really good. I did find out my, sh uh, my shifts for the last week of January and I am so happy. Like, my schedule, I like the schedule I was on, but it wasn't the schedule I originally had. But I have eight-hour shifts. A whole week of the four days of eight-hour shifts. And I'm so, seven to four, so amazingly happy with that. Now, tomorrow is my first eight-hour shift. And then I go back to, then I go for a four-hour shift on Monday. I wish it was a morning four-hour. It's an afternoon well and then I am off Tuesday so we will see and then I go back to work Wednesday Thursday and I'm off Friday Saturday so I'm happy and then the week after that I have four days off not happy about that but they did fix my schedule I kind of like the schedule I had where I had days kind of in between but I'm just glad to have my schedule back to where it was and it makes it kind of easy honestly once I read those four dates back to back reading gets kind of hard so hopefully this manga or small books even if I don't get to finish them hopefully I get caught up to 11 maybe I'll make this part 11 but I'm honestly thinking 10 because of how big the last vlog was whatever has like the majority of 11 books is probably gonna be the biggest the first one was 40 minutes and this clip is almost 10 minutes so I'm going to cap it here. I do plan on reading this tonight and talking to you tomorrow with, I think I'll read Heartstopper Volume 3. And then I did get Volume 3 of My Happy Marriage Life as well. So I'm probably going to read those too if I have time at work tomorrow. At least one of them I am I'm hoping. So I will talk to you tomorrow on Sunday. But today was a very productive day that I'm really, really, really happy about my nails. But I got to show you some Louie. Louie. Smile, come on. You're okay. Come on. He was a good boy today. Yeah. Most handsomest boy. He's licking his nails and I'm bugging him. So I'm gonna go have dinner, read some more, and then go to bed. See you. It's been a very long time. I think it's been a week and a half. I got sick. It is currently the twenty second of January. No. I believe that the last, because I haven't watched the footage back in a while, the last time I was talking about this, I think I said I was on this Friday night. So I did read this Friday night. I loved it, okay? Penelope, the current Penelope, got a flashback. She gave the stepbrother out for the bad things he did to pass Penelope. And she got him. Sorry, I need some of this. She let him have it. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. My brace. My hand was hurting, so I got the brace. Not, I will just live without. Because I can't open it. I'm trying to hold my 
foam, maybe. All right, I got it. So she let the stepbrother have it. I will say she's gotten with the percentage with the love interest. They're getting up there. So she's still set on the one character, but honestly, I'm happy she's avoided a death flag event. So she got a really good, interesting flashback of the current Penelope, or the past Penelope, the original villainess. And her, or that's, sorry, I don't know why I'm losing my voice because I'm trying not to cough. That scene made me root for this character more because she's letting the people who treated the original Penelope have it all i am so happy that she is doing that the mistreatment that penelope got and yes her behavior was bad but the way she was treated at the very beginning led to her being a villainess so i'm glad she's sticking up so this was where i capped was... no i read volume four yeah, no. Hold on. Yeah, I only read volume three. Volume four is over there. I got confused. I have been sick. I love this. And I think getting the ones I know I'm going to love, I'm just going to do that, even if they end up to be five stars. It's been so fun reading these two manga series that even though it has helped my goal and I was hoping to read some more small books... Even if this whole month has been manga, I'm happy to at least be 20% of my Goodreads goal. Now, I do want to talk about that. So, when I entered on Goodreads, I did not hit for the next, because I did finish Heartstopper Volume 2. It says I finished it twice because I forgot to put Heartstopper Volume 1. So, I went back and read Heartstopper Volume 2 again, even though I finished Heartstopper 3 click that I finished Heart Stopper 3. It did that. And I also forgot to put in Yearning for Her was finished on Goodreads. So I did that as well. I did finish Heart Stopper Volume 4. Gave it a four star and now I'm waiting for Libby for Volume 5. I've heard people were disappointing with it. So I'm okay with the wait because every Heart Stopper Volume I have rated a five star. The vibes the cozy vibes the story between Nick and Charlie absolutely love so I'm gonna be interested and in see what volume four was now I did finish I just got it off of Libby so I did read that why was at the dentist this morning the legend of Zelda Twilight Princess volume one Twilight Princess is my favorite Zelda game I really hope they remaster it for Switch this year. There was rumors. So if they do, hardcore buying that. I'll even buy the deluxe edition of that. I will waste money on that. So I enjoyed it. I liked, the, we got a little more backstory of how Link got to that village before. And I, Twilight Princess was a masterpiece in my opinion. So that is it. We are at 20 books so I need to read 11 books in this well my next part three I also picked up extra shifts I work five days next week so I work Sunday Monday off Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday off Saturday got a nail appointment I am gonna be sad to see these go but I'm going to take a photo, start taking a photo each time I get a set. I think that will make me happy. And then I can go back and say, I wanted this one again. Um, sorry, rant. And then, yeah. So really, I only have, cause today's the 22nd. I only have about a week, the rest of this week and next week to finish. I know the majority of this project has been me talking about manga. So if you've watched so far, hopefully you enjoyed the manga and the small books I have read. I appreciate you guys and I will see you in part three.